hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss how i lost my 40 pounds on my instagram a lot of people are asking how i lost my weight so here i am doing a video so if you guys are interested in how i lost my 40 pounds just keep on watching remember to please subscribe i will greatly appreciate that like it will help out my channel so much please hit that bell to get notified every time i upload a video like comment share 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 this video that's a huge thing um with my channel like if you guys share the better i am going to do a 10,000 subscriber giveaway soon so i follow y'all i will subscribe and wait until that video comes out how to get some good stuff anyways guys let's get started with this video but a disclaimer first this is what I did during my journey it's not necessarily gonna help you guys it did help me it will help you but I just don't want you guys to come at me saying oh you should not be saying this or I shouldn't be saying that this is what helped me out this is how I did it um, I just wanted to put that out there I don't want people coming at me but um it is a good thing to actually ask a doctor to see if this diet will work for you um, that's major I didn't ask a doctor because I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrified of going to the doctor. But anyways, let me stop um, rambling on. Actually, I'm going to keep rambling on because it's going to be a really chit-chatty type of video. So I apologize in advance. Oh, well. I will try to do as much as before photos as I can. Um, during this whole journey, when I first started gaining a lot of weight, I felt uncomfortable in my skin and my body. So I really didn't take a lot of photos or progress pictures because I felt gross and that's just my personal view on myself um i am a lot better now than i was before because now i'm learning how to love myself oh cheesy love myself um i am trying to learn myself so i am getting more comfortable in my skin and i feel like people in my life and people in my instagram could see that and that's probably why they could start asking so many questions about what i did to lose weight um but um it is a struggle it is a long process it was not easy for me at all and this is why it took me about a year and a half to actually lose to get my goal weight um because i kept slacking and i kept eating badly and i kept getting discouraged um but that's how everything is you can't do something expect it to be easy so i am going to go back to 2018 that's when I gained the most weight. Um, my highest weight was 172. And to you guys, it probably doesn't sound as bad as you could think it was. I, for my body type, how I am built, <laughs> I'm built weird. No, uh, for my body type, the way I'm built, like seriously, I'm just kind of like very, like, I don't know how to describe myself. Like. Well, I know how, but I, you probably just think I'm weird. I'm more like bigger on top than on my legs. I got chicken legs. And when I gained a bunch of weight, it just went like right here, like from my belly to this, like my thighs were like still chicken legs, but um, I'm just built weird. <laughs> I don't know, I'm fine. Um, but in 2018, I gained at least 50 pounds in one year, which is super unhealthy not good for your health it's just bad all around i should tell you how my eating habits was first which well my eating habits were really bad to begin with but i guess as i got older i'm more prone to gain more weight and especially with my job i sit down so it's like i'm eating i'm eating i'm eating and then my job i sit down and I don't do any physical activity. So in 2018, I was really inactive and I was really eating the most I've ever eaten in my entire life. I would have fast food, I would have rice, I would have pasta, which is nothing wrong with rice and pasta, but those are the main things that will get you gaining weight really fast. Like if, like I will eat like rice one day and the next day pasta. Sometimes I will eat rice and pasta together. Um, I will double eat, like I will overeat because my mind thinks I'm not um, full, but I am full because your stomach gets full quicker than your head. Does that make sense? Um, so I thought I wasn't full, but I really was, but I kept overeating. Like I will have two plates, 
of food instead of my regular servings i will have two plates and eventually that just all cut off to me especially when i would eat at like midnight or two o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning i will always eat you should not eat that late but that's how my eating habits was and i wanted to tell you guys how i used to eat to like show you like what major changes i made for myself once i hit that 2019 because you know resolution new year new me whatever um oh gosh let's not break that <laughs> um that was my 2019 resolution was to lose weight and be more active um however it did not start off like that in 2019 because i was just like let me just be more active and i started working out um before i get into that um i think my last straw was when it's super disrespectful for all the people who's asked this and i feel like this is very inappropriate for anybody to ask any woman um especially when they're low self-esteem and they're struggling with their weight um i was asked several times if i was pregnant and i think that was like my breaking point where it was like okay the fifth of sixth person asked me if i'm pregnant people are seeing it not only am i seeing it but there's other people that are seeing it too so once i've been asked that several times i got really emotional and really depressed and i was like i can't do this anymore my feet were so swollen like it my feet will get so big because i guess because my overeating and how much i gain weight so quickly and even the doctor told me i i gained so much weight and that's why my feet were swollen and it and you know like i have to start because i was a little bit over overweight because you know doctors know if you're over or underweight um they told me i was overweight so after the whole swelling of the ankles and of the people asking me if i was pregnant i was like okay i gotta do something about this because this is not cool i don't like being um fat shamed which i kind of was because they even though they genuinely thought i was pregnant it was still like wow you look big like people would say wow you're getting weight oh but you look good but you're getting weight i'm like no i don't feel comfortable i don't i hardly took any photos um like i will only show you like four photos of myself because that's how many times i took photos was barely no nothing um so i felt uncomfortable i didn't take photos i didn't take progress pics i did actually take progress pics but i looked at them and i was just like ew like i should have kept it but i just just couldn't i really just couldn't even bear to even look at myself so with that being said how my eating habits were and how i felt during 2018 i just wanted to um like tell to say that first before i actually start saying like what i actually did and what my experiences were so 2019 came and i was like okay let me start working out so i started working out but my problem was i didn't eat good like i still ate my burgers my fries my like freaking burger king I, well, I barely eat Burger King or McDonald's, but I usually will have it. I will eat my pasta, my rice, and the, like all, just all of it. I will eat still bad, and then I started working out. And then I noticed that I was not losing weight. I was gaining weight. So I was like, okay, I guess eating bad <laughs> and working out does not go to hand in hand. Because when you want to lose weight, you're going to have to eat healthy. You cannot just work out and be active. You have to eat healthy. So I was like, okay, let me try the keto diet. I think I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. I don't know. And that is when you have to have like five to 10 net carbs or just regular carbs a day. So that's a lot of cutting out a lot of sugars and a lot of carbs. Um, I cut out rice. I cut out, I only, guys, I only experienced this one day of this diet and I think I almost died <laughs> because by the end of the night, my vision like half this eye, like not half but this whole eye and half of this eye became became blurred like i could not see for a good 30 minutes and i felt like my body had like a natural shock of not having any carbs or any sugars it just like took a toll on me and then once i finally regained my vision um i had a migraine for three days 
So I was like, okay, this diet is not for me. That's why I told you in the beginning, you should really ask a doctor if a, a certain diet will work for you because they will know better than I would because, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not a health critic or any of that. So um, that was not a good thing for me. So I was like, okay, I cannot um, do this type of diet because it's obviously taking a toll in my body, especially when I just go like right away, just start a whole diet without even like hesitating not a good idea so i went low carb so i try to cut out as much carbs as i could bread pasta oatmeal rice however i did cheat once a week so my that's why my journey was a little bit slower than most like if you don't want to cheat once a week you just cheat like once a month i suggest cheating because once a Oh, once a week or once a month I suggest it because it's like it's okay to eat something that you enjoy honestly guys that you enjoy um so I feel like if you don't cheat as often as I did you know <laughs> I like my rice and my beans hello I'm Puerto Rican um but um uh, you will lose weight more faster so what I did is before I used to eat cereal in the morning I cut out cereal I used to eat oatmeal, not as often, but I cut out oatmeal. I will eat oatmeal like once a month, maybe. Um, I cut out things that I know I don't need and don't want, I cut it out. I cut it out, all my snacks, like all my Swiss rolls and all my strawberry rolls, mm, those are so good. Anyways, I cut all that out. I cut out um, eating um, a lot. I cut out, I stopped double eating stop getting my two platings of food um, I definitely did more servings I am eating more veggies I am eating more fruit before I would not eat vegetables like at all unless it's like lettuce but other than that I would not eat no veggies no broccoli no asparagus no none of that now I eat a lot more veggies because um, I eat now broccoli I eat asparagus I eat Brussels sprouts I eat snap peas and snow peas now I introduce myself to eat veggies, which you gotta eat your veggies, people. Um, so I started eating more veggies and started being more proportioned. Um, every Sunday I would cheat in this because during the time I had, I was in a relationship um, with my ex, obviously, and every Sunday we would have family dinners and it was like the best thing ever and I enjoyed. So that's why I cheated every Sunday because, you know, she, like my, my boy, my ex-boyfriend's mom would cook and she'd be cooking so good, like I miss that stuff. Anyways, um, but that's why I would cheat every Sunday, which I did not mind because I was eating so healthy during the day, uh, during the week, I was okay to cheat, you know. Um, but um, that's pretty much honestly it in the whole thing. I just went low carb and I started eating more vegetables, eating more fruits, I started eating more proportion wise, I started um, making myself a lot of meat and then veggies on the side. Um, I might just include what I eat sometimes like in this corner right here just to see. Like, like in the morning right now, I will eat scramble eggs and veggies. I post that a lot on my Instagram, like be scramble eggs and veggies. And then during my lunch, I will eat fruits. And then during my dinner, I will eat a meat and a veggie. Um, like and sometimes I will eat uh, there's low carb tortillas at Publix or Walmart or any place you go um, grocery wise they have low carb tar tortillas um, so I eat that but sometimes I will eat like taco salads instead of an actual wrap I will eat lettuce um, like with burgers instead of the bun I will eat it wrapped up in a lettuce which guys if you think about it it's so if you flavor it so yummy you won't mind not having a tortilla you won't mind have not having a bread um so like it's not very necessary to have all those carbs guys and trust me i love my carbs like i said it before i'm puerto rican and we love carbs like the rice the beans the bread like come on now that's delicious it's so delicious but it's so bad for you um not necessarily bad for you but you know what i mean and it, it makes you gain weight because like one cup of rice could be like 40 carbs and then with me i had two cups of rice so it'll be like already almost 100 but um i tried to stick to low carb as much as possible um i started off at 100 uh carbs 
which you think that's a lot, but it really isn't because once you have that rice and pasta, it goes up like quickly. Uh, so I started out at 100, but then I went to 80 and then I went to 50. And then finally I went to like 30 carbs. Um, I had to do, cause of the whole experience with the keto or keto, I had to like go down. So that way my body got used to, um, not having those carbs or those sugars. So that's what I did. I went from 100 to 80 to 50 to 40, you know, just went down until, um, until my body got to the weight. And my first 30 pounds went like this, guys. Super fast. Everybody was noticing. It was like, you look great. And I was like, hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> I felt more comfortable. I'm not saying like, um, you like you know guys like i think everyone's beautiful in their skin in their own way everybody has a beauty to them but this is how i felt about myself and when i was a higher weight i did not feel myself um i went from 172 to 132 and my goal was 135 so i got three pounds less than what um my goal was, I do want to lose a little bit more, but it's more like my stomach. My stomach does not want to go away. It's like there. I mean, it's still small, but it's like right there. Like I could like, like <laughs> tap on my belly, but um, everything else I lost because that's what happens. Like you use your boob, you lose, you use, you lose your boobies, your butt. And I was like, dang, why couldn't that stay? Like, that's the only thing that I really like liked about myself before. But like, obviously that all just went away. And then my belly is just like right there. My palm right there. So maybe I'm going to start working out. Recently I have been walking, but trying to eat well and walk at the same time. So I feel like if you guys combine eating healthy and working out, you guys would have a more faster progress because my progress was slow, slower, like really slow because I cheated too much and I kind of started slacking off because once I lost that 30 pounds, I was like, ooh, girl, let's go shopping. Let me go get new outfits. And I'm like, wait a minute, I still haven't reached my goal. So that last 10 pounds were so difficult for me because it's like, I was so, um, like i was so like like hey i lost weight let me go get some snacks and then i started eating some snacks again but um uh, right now i stopped for a few months i started eating really bad during this quarantine thing like i started eating so bad and i gained 10 more pounds <laughs> i came back 10 pounds so i was like nope this cannot happen i did not lose this weight for me to gain it back i'm trying to make this video short but it's already like 18 minutes in i'm on my my phone um because my camera died but um i'm just gonna just uh insert some photos before and after so you guys can see so my suggestion is when you're doing a low carb make sure you add more veggies make sure you eat proportion um that's pretty much it guys i just went low carb and just started focusing on what i was eating uh, i cut out a lot of things like the cereal, the oatmeal, I cut that out. Um, some fruits are low, high in carbs, like bananas and mangoes, but you know, girl, mm, I love bananas and mangoes. There was no way I was gonna cut them out. So what I did though, I will cut them in proportions. That way it'd be a lesser portion of carbs. So that's what, so I could still enjoy the bananas and I could still enjoy the mangoes. I mean, I think fruit is fruit, you know what I mean? Um, so I didn't want to cut that out completely. So I just proportioned like a mango. I will do it three ways. That way Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at work, I will have my mango, but like a little slice, which is still good enough for me. Um, avocados was everything for me. I literally eat a whole avocado. Um, on the side like I'll have pork chops and then avocados on the side or I will have um, Chicken with avocado or broccoli on the side. So you guys can learn How to cook low-carb meals, especially on Pinterest. They'd be having so many good stuff on there You guys go on Pinterest and get some low-carb meals um, That's a other way to like try to motivate yourself to actually Because um, when you have good low-carb meals, you won't mind it um there, snacking wise I will try to just snack on fruits um, and yeah guys I think I hope that helps you out a little bit in a way um, if you guys have any other questions just comment below I love talking to you guys and I do not mind sharing my experience and giving you guys advice um, 
so I don't make this video super, super long. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see like what I eat in a day. I did start filming some of it, but then my whole week was just a little bit crazy this week. So I ended up not filming as much as I thought I would, but I could give you some like little meal suggestion. If you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments below. Um, also, if you got this far, cause I am doing a giveaway, put a rose or any floral type of emoji in the comment section. You guys will be entered into my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, that also lets me know that you guys are watching my videos, which I greatly appreciate it. And I want people that actually see my videos to actually, um, what, like how to like actually get rewarded in a way that you guys are just helping out my channel because you guys are amazing. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope this, um, video gave you a little bit of information. I know I was just rambling on and just talking, but that's how it really is honestly um that's how my experience was i don't think there's anything else i could really say about losing weight but it's just a long process a long journey um you have to discipline yourself you have to be motivated you can't get discouraged like i like i got several times i started eating badly again but then i got back to focusing and i finally lost that last 10 pounds and now i'm trying to focus on try to get more tone and eventually i want to start working out fully that way i could enjoy a little bit of those cheap meals you know my french fries coupled with cheese you know what i mean um but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it let me not break this thing like I keep trying to hit it but anyways guys i will see you in my next video bye